The portfolio's of minister nominees approved by the Senate through the President Chinobu has been generating mixed reactions among the people in Ikiti State. For some, the President is on the right track, while others criticize the inclusion of some names in the ministerial appointment. A resident of Ikiti State, Ayo Arugudade, criticized the portfolio assigned to some of the ministers, while the National Secretary of Afeni Fenu, Honorable Bio Aino said any of the ministers who fail to perform should be shown the way out. Nothing spectacular about it, nothing special about it. People were expecting new order. People were expecting a, a, a cabinet that composed technocrats, bureaucrats, professionals who are a little bit apolitical, a little bit of politicians, a little bit of technocrats that are not politicians. But look at the composition. It is more of a compensatory cabinet. It is more of a cabinet that compensates the politician that supported the president. And I want to appeal to Mr. President to continuously reject the cabinet. He should not just wait that this cabinet will be there for the next four years, just as it was done during Muhammadu Buhari administration. We are a particular where some, most of the ministers stay for eight years. He should monitor them. He should supervise them. And he should not make anybody a super minister. I expect that uh, the president should have enough courage in measuring out output, and if he's not seeing the kind of results he desires to see, he can ask them to leave or he can exchange them. You know, it's like you have a team. You can deploy your resources in any manner you think will give you the results. And once you start getting the results, you're okay. Uh, you know, I belong to opposition. I'm not APC, uh, so, I cannot be accused of being biased. From my experience, I know that either the president or the governor will look at certain qualities from uh, the persons he's appointing. And he knows what assignment he wants to give them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.